And then yesterday I asked you about these comments that were made by both the Prime Minister and the uh, Foreign Minister. Do you know, um, did, has anyone, have U.S. officials, maybe Ambassador Pyatt or someone, raised uh, raised this at all, either either um, either of the controversial comments with, with the Ukrainian officials, or is it just something that you're willing to let pass? Well, I think I spoke to the context of one of the sets of comments yesterday, and the other uh, I looked into after mm -hmm. we talked about it, and uh, the Prime Minister's comments have been uh, misreported. Um, he didn't call anyone, quote, subhuman. Uh, what he said was that those supporting the militants destabilizing eastern Ukraine were inhuman. Uh, so it's slightly different, uh, and he's referring specifically to the armed militants and certainly not Russians, as I understand the translation. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, they put it up on their website, that the English translation, and it's been changed since, yes, but it did say those who support the separatists are subhuman, not inhuman, and so, and it was up until yesterday uh, in that language. So anyway, you, but you're, you're satisfied with it. I mean, you would have a problem with subhuman, yes, if, this, if the prime minister was running around saying that Russians are subhuman. Well, I think the, the accurate uh, translation is a <clears throat> relevant point here. Okay. So do you, did you, did you, you said that you, did, did the U.S. government request some kind of clarification from the, from uh, the Ukrainians? No, or you no I, I think that's just an important uh, component here of the okay. context of the comment. But, but you would have, you, you would have a problem with the use of language like that, right? I mean, there is a hyperbolic language on both sides recognized, and presumably you would call on both sides to keep the rhetoric down. Is that correct? Uh, as we have, but I think our concern has been focused more naturally on the um, actions of the Russian separatists and the movement of military uh, tanks and other uh, equipment okay. across the border. And when you said that you 